In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to take a 16 by 9 video where you have a figure moving across the screen and turn it into a 9 by 16 where you keep the camera focused on the moving person. Now in this case, well on this one, we have this gal walking across the rocks and what we see is that she's moving and the camera is stable and what we want to do is make it so that we stay focused on her in a 9 by 16 way. How can we do that? Well, let's show you the technique for making this happen. So we're going to click on the clip in the timeline and with it highlighted, we'll click on the edit button. That gives us our edit options in the new interface. We're going to make sure we're in the leftmost category called video and we're going to move down to our pan and zoom option. When I click on that, I've made this full screen now, so we get to see very clearly what we're going to work on. First thing we want to do is change the aspect ratio. To do that, we click on the right panel. We have a down arrow. We're going to click the 9 by 16 option. Immediately you see it reflected on the screen. Now she comes in from the right, so in order to move this panel, you click on the white button in the middle with a left mouse button and drag over. When it's pink on the top and right, that means I'm perfectly aligned to the top and right of my screen. Now she's going to start on the right, and then the bottom we have these lines, and there's a single keyframe that automatically will set right there. It's the little diamond on the lower left corner. Let's move over a ways, and I'll click. And now I have my blue triangle. You see the shadow. She's about to come on screen here. And so what I want to do is set a timeline marker. Uh, with that shadow there and that triangle, I'm going to click on the plus next to the diamond. It'll set a little pink timeline marker. So it will lock the frame in there. Let's move in a little farther. And we'll see the frame change. She's still in frame. I'm going to set another one. I don't have to here because I haven't moved the frame, but I like to just for habit. Let's move over farther. We'll click another one. Now she would be out of frame here. I may have to make sure I click the diamond with a plus again. We're going to set a keyframe. This time we're going to move this to the left. In this case I'll keep it perfectly horizontal. Then let's move over a bit farther. Very big change here. I'm going to click that same diamond, set the keyframe, and we're going to move the camera as it were to keep her in frame right there. And then let's move a little farther. She's exiting our view here. We're going to keep it right here. And we've got our keyframe set. Let's do one more. I could actually keep it there. I don't have to add another one, but out of habit, I'm going to anyway. So when we play this, we're going to click on the square at the lower left corner. And we'll click our play button. And we're going to see what it looks like when we've transformed this to a 9 by 16. She comes into frame, walks across the rocks by the surf, and she's perfectly centered. And then she exits, and all we see is her shadow. Now let's reset that, and I'll show you another option you can use if you want to be a little more precise. I'm going to go back to my 9 by 16, and we'll start again on the right side with her. And we have our keyframe set. Let's move in a bit. And she's still there. I'm going to set another keyframe. Let's move in further. And in this case, on, what I want to do is I want to focus more tightly on her. So I'm going to actually begin to magnify this picture. And so I'm changing not only the location, but I'm changing the scale. Let's move further. Now she's going to get bigger as it progresses because she moves toward the camera somewhat. But I'll set the second one and move it here. Let's try another one. Again, we set our keyframe with a plus and the diamond. And I still have her whole body. I could actually focus a little bit on her torso if I wanted and change it again. Move over here again. And now I'm focusing simply on the upper part of her body. 
and then we can have her walk out of frame or what I can do is I can take this now and I can back it out keeping the same proportions where she exits the frame and the camera backs out on the seascape. Let's see what that looks like when we play it. So we're going to go to the beginning and play it this way. And you see we're zooming in on her a little bit, keeping her in frame, moving from left to right. Let's click on OK. And this is what we have when we're on our main screen. It will play the same as it did a few moments ago. Those are two different approaches. One changes the scale of the image. The other one leaves it the same and just keeps the person in frame with the new ratio for your project.